Hello folks, this is Sean Zock speaking. Dylan DeChair is also here, ready to break down a golf trip that we took last fall. We're always looking for new golf destinations, and in this case we found an under-the-radar golf town within driving distance or basically anywhere on the eastern seaboard. A place with plenty of golf, plenty to see, plenty to do, actually so much to do, more than I ever expected. I'm talking about Williamsburg, Virginia. This place has a dozen golf courses designed by top architects from Pete Dye, Robert Trent Jones, to Reese Jones, Jack Nicklaus, Mike Strantz. There's courses that have hosted PGA and LPGA Tour events. The vibe is decidedly different from what you'll get on any other golf trip, and you're just a couple hours from Washington, D.C. Our home base to begin the week was the Williamsburg Inn, which it's great for me because it was all of 100 yards from the driving range and a first tee at Golden Horseshoe Golf Club. So the Williamsburg Inn was built in 1937 by John D. Rockefeller Jr. Well, it's very elegant, but very comfortable. Mr. Rockefeller wanted the inn to feel like home. Well, the golf scene is very close to the Williamsburg Inn. In fact, I'm watching the golf scene right now. Hit a draw, I would collapse my wrist uh, clo close the face, close, close the stance, the stance. Yeah. swing on the line of my toes. Yes. It's just a, that is just a dead straight, beautiful that is golf just shot. A dead straight. <laughs> right? There's nothing wrong with that. There's just a lot of shame though. The key is just to get a lot of thoughts swirling around. <laughs> the question on the table here is whether I should be giving strokes in mini golf tonight and if we want it to be a fair match, I'm going to realistically have to give some shots, but my opponents are not going to take them. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I'll just win. So we're here at Pirates Cove. Dylan made the unfortunate comment today of thinking that he was going to have to give us <laughs> strokes. Just wanted to be fair out here. Mini golf. We're playing stroke play. If you finish first, you get to change the driver settings of the third place finisher for the first 18 holes tomorrow and the second place finisher for the first nine holes tomorrow. So if you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't first, your driver is screwed. That's the bottom line here. I'm going first, and yes, I brought my own putter. I won the putt-putt competition. That's the story there. And really, it just meant that I could fool around with your driver settings to try and make our match a little more even on our first day. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Sean. Go time, baby. I'm going to feel a whole lot worse than 45 holes, but we're going to have a good day. There is a lot of golf in the Williamsburg area. Really the most centrally located part of it is the Williamsburg Inn. We were dew sweeping in the morning, it was a brisk fall day, but we had the entire course to ourselves, which you can't really ask for much more than that. That's a ball marker. Oh my goodness. The golden horseshoe. Uh, I feel so powerful right now. <laughs> like Normally not the most powerful in the group, but I've got the Elder Nike wand. Oh my God. <laughs> does that thing still work? These changes gonna be permanent? I think the golf- If you click it hard enough, does Anthony Kim pop out? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All the way back and plus two with the draw bias. <laughs> All right, good luck. Let's do it. Wow. We're just perfect. The green course is like a feeder course in my eyes to the gold course. The green course was a great warm up because look, it, it got us in the mindset of okay, we're here for a few days of really good golf. This is the kind of like decision making that I want Sean to have to be making today because just the doubt, the uncertainty <laughs> of whether he should be hitting the club is like weighing on him already. Let's Not honest. to speak for you. I've been a horrible driver for uh, basically 10 years now. Listen, listen to this. How long have you been playing golf? <laughs> About 12 years. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently 
like hitting the golf ball right now. Two down, three to go. A little late kick, huh? Oh. All she wrote. <laughs> I really enjoyed the back nine at the green course. It was a very challenging finish. The last four or five holes were great to end matches on. In the end, despite a rally, you closed me out on the 16th. It was a statement match for me. Uh, but as Sean said, this was really the perfect warm-up morning course for the property's crown jewel, which was the gold course at Golden Horseshoe. When you watch basketball players, you don't compare them to Michael Jordan. And when you play golf courses, you don't compare them to Augusta National. But I will say that the gold course gave off some Augusta vibes. There are these towering pine trees with plenty of space beneath them. And the par fives are an awesome variety of risk reward holes. And the par threes are all over water. And they're just about as dramatic a set of par threes as you'll find anywhere. This goes in, I'm jumping in the lake. That's a good putt. Of his life. Oh no. They call that the big bird. We will make you hit it. Yikes. That's missable. Hey, he's done it. Eagle. You got to 16. The sun was starting to get a little low. It was pretty nice out there. You just stepped up and made the best swing of the trip outside. Hey, in the hole. The signature moment right there. Strokes, huh? Every trip you go on, you're going to remember it for various reasons. Hopefully, some of those reasons are certain shots you hit, and that's one for me. So we had just enough light after our round at the gold course to go get some dessert. We took advantage of the real treat of the day, which was the Spotswood course, the original course at the Golden Horseshoe. Get in the bunker. Oh, in the parking lot. It's a really fun par 62 with just a ton of character. And we ran around and played as many holes as we could, but we just ran out of daylight. Not a good one. I, there was nothing really good about it. The golf hole was nice. The shot was terrible. All right, four final holes at Spotswood. 40 for the day. So Spotswood is, besides just being a great name, it's Alexander Spotswood, Colonel Alexander Spotswood, who led the, the charge from the, the great horseshoe, what is it called? Big Wikipedia guy. He led the Knights of the Golden Horseshoe Expedition. That's so, actually sick, that sounds like the quest for the Holy Grail. That was, the best outro ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. So then after 40 holes of golf, it was a Tuesday, so we got tacos, Taco Tuesday, from the Precarious Beer Project. We grabbed some beers as well, my favorite being the Chugging Bubbles. And then we went on a ghost tour and got properly weirded out by how many ghosts there are in Colonial Williamsburg. And if you're looking to really feel the history of Williamsburg, maybe just grab a beer and take a stroll around to hear some of the stories of these early colonists and how they live. And maybe you'll feel a little extra chill run up your spine. I'm not saying I was spooked, Sean, but I did sleep a little on edge because I was so excited for day two.